Hey guys, who's that? Put your hands together for your host, Mike Nicolia. I think I'm gonna be a little nervous next time I try and buy something from him on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, you guys ready? Round two of the Long Island Laugh Off. You guys ready? I actually got, a, I got some great advice before I came on the stage tonight from uh, Governor Andrew Cuomo. <laughs> he, uh, he said, Tom, whenever I speak to a large group, just do as I do, just look in the audience and picture all the women in their underwear. <laughs> he said, it works for me. I didn't know, he said it worked for me, it worked for me. But uh, my sister's in the audience, so I'm glad there's a lot of bright lights here, so I uh, can't picture everyone in their underwear. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm sad he resigned because I thought the longer he stayed in office, the better things might get for us, right? Like 11 accusers came forward, he legalized weed. I figured maybe two or three more accusers would get crack or prostitution or <laughs> something like that. It was a matter of time. But uh, actually, it feels like things are returning back to normal. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Everything keeps going back to normal, right? I feel like it was only a few months ago I was excited to leave the house to go to a wake. I was that deprived to have a social interaction. Uh, my friends were jealous. They're like, who do you know that died? I wanna, I wanna go to a wake. So the hardest part that was picking the right mask. I had to pick a mask that said, I'm sorry for your loss, but I'm going out for drinks after this. So it couldn't be too, too somber, right? But uh, actually, I just had my DNA test done through Ancestry. Anyone else do that? Yeah, if you haven't done it, don't do it. It was a big disappointment. According to Ancestry, I'm way more Irish than Italian. I know, right? Tom Galati? I was just as surprised as all of you. So, uh, yeah, you know, I feel like I've been living a lie. So I'm gonna have a support group for people like me. And just say, hi, my name is Tom. I used to be Italian. And everyone can say, ciao, Tom. Uh, anyone here on dates? Anyone dating tonight? Anyone want to admit they're here on a date? Dating's hard, right? These girls will just tell you how they, you know, they tell you how they see it now. They're like, you're old, you're overweight, you're married. You know, I mean, you're at all. But uh, I am actually happily married. My wife is here, 17 years I'm married. Thank you, honey, for bringing me to this. We have three beautiful children. And, uh, you know, it's hard, because it's hard being married, no matter how long you're married or how many kids you have, you know, my wife's always saying I check out and I don't listen or something. I don't know, I, was, I wasn't paying attention. But it's, uh, you know, sex changes when you're married, right? When you're younger, you have sex for different reasons, right? You know, it's, it's fun, it's exciting. You know, when you're married, you have sex because it's your birthday. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. But, uh, because... <laughs> You guys, you guys play the hall pass game? You know that game? So you're allowed to pick like a celebrity that you're allowed to have sex with, and of course, if I ever bumped into someone and say, hey, good news, we're allowed to have sex, I'm sure, I'm sure all the celebrities love that they're part of this fun game for all us kind of people. So uh, we were out with another couple last weekend, and we had a few drinks, and we're going around the table, and uh, my buddy says Angelina Jolie, his wife said Matt Damon, and my wife said Joe Ryan. Uh, that's our kid's soccer coach. So, I don't know if she understands the spirit of the ball pass game. Uh, I mean, now I know where we're getting a good deal on the uniforms, but I, I don't think uh, this is worth it. Uh, we, uh, we, have, uh, we have three beautiful children. Uh, the daughter is 11. I have twin boys that are seven. And, uh, you know, a lot of people ask, you know, do you have a favorite with the twins? And, you know, absolutely not. I love Dominic just as much as, what's his name? <laughs> yeah, they're great, great kids. But kids, you know, kids to me are like mini celebrities. You know, they're uh, like, Dad, you know I don't like basil in my spaghetti, or I don't like green M&Ms anymore. You know, they're like uh, adorable little assholes, right? They're like, they're like adorable assholes, these kids. But we have, uh, you know, we have a lot of friends with kids. You know, that's what happens. You have kids, you have friends with kids. And uh, close friends of ours, they resisted getting a minivan because it wasn't cool, right? I think cool kids, you know, say goodbye to them a long time ago. You know, they're wearing a baby on a pouch on their stomach. They're about 37 pounds overweight, look like they haven't slept in three days. But you're right, the minivan is holding you back. <laughs> the cool guy look, you're trying to push back. 
But, uh, you know, I actually just learned that you have to protect your kids' social security numbers from identity thieves. Do you guys know this? So apparently kids can open up, uh, thieves can open up credit cards in your kid's name. So I didn't know that was a thing. So I just opened up a few credit cards in my kid's name. I figured they, uh, they have plenty of time to pay off that jet ski that they just bought. Uh, you know, it might be hard when they're 18 and they want to buy a car. Uh, just tell them, listen, pay off that Home Depot card you opened when you were seven and you'll be fine. <laughs> So actually, my kids just found my old Xbox 360 and all my games. And uh, I said, listen guys, one rule, no Grand Theft Auto, right? That's it, you can play it, just no Grand Theft Auto. And of course, they appealed to my wife and said, why can't we play Grand Theft Auto? My wife comes to me and says, why can't they play Grand Theft Auto? And I said, you know, this crime and prostitution. I said, you could literally steal a car, pick up a prostitute, pay her, have sex with her, and then kill her and take your money back. So now none of us can play Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You guys have been great. Thank you so much. Hey, Nicole, uh...